Welcome to Norwegian Modeling Bench and build log number 12 of the build log series on Admiral Graf Speer in 1350 scale. So during this build log I will be working on um, the armament, uh, the 280mm, the 150mm and then also the boats and the plane and finally the radar and uh, mast on top of the fire control in the aft. So I hope that you like, please comment if you have any comments, uh, otherwise enjoy. Then I've started on the plane, the float plane and the Rado. Uh, so I have assembled the parts, the main parts. Um, I had some issues, the, the, uh, these parts are quite brittle, so I had a, a snap on one of the parts, but uh, hopefully it won't be showing too much. So the first step now is to get some primer on, so it's uh, a bit easier to see what needs to be sanded down before uh, adding um, the photo edge parts and of course giving the plane the correct color. Okay, so then the plane has gotten some primer. I have started uh, sanding and uh, had some rounds of uh, Mr. Surfacer. So things are starting to shape up. Need uh, probably one round more of uh, Mr. Surfacer thousand before I finalize with 1500 then it's time to add uh, the photo edge canopy and also the rig for the pontons uh, and then uh, paint and I will uh, definitely paint them separately uh, so I have a good view uh, or access to the underside of the plane uh, so that's next step for the plane. Assembly of the boats have begun. I have assembled the photo edge parts that go on top of uh, two of the boats. And uh, I will paint them separately. Uh, so a light brown color on, uh, on the parts going on top. So the superstructure and inside of the boat. And then the hull will be in the light grey and then uh, dark grey on the bottom. Uh, so uh, and same with the Admiral's boat, I've uh, not put the roof on top yet because I want to be able to access the inside. And of course uh, painting these parts separately uh, for the other ones gives me the possibility to have a bit of a um, crisper line between the hull itself and the superstructure parts. And then we have the row cutters here that are going to be um, grey on the outside and white on the inside. That's at least what I've seen in the reference materials. So uh, the next step then is to uh, prime these parts up and then start with the paint job. Then the 280mm have been assembled and uh, we are ready to give it a coat of primer to see if um, the groundwork has been done properly. Same with uh, the 150mm are also ready for priming. So moving ahead with that. So then the main guns have been painted, uh, dry fitting of course, uh, before I give them a varnish and uh, a wash. Same with um, the plane, I've also gotten some paint, this will be needed, need to do that in several um, layers and rounds, so now just letting it cure. Started with the boats and I also chose the wrong 
brown color i want it a bit darker so those need to get another coat of paint and same here the, these needs um, several different uh, rounds with the painting uh, so the next when the paint is cured is to get the gray keel and then also the plate uh, or design has gotten some work so things are starting to wrap up so to say so let's move on with the next tasks And let's not forget the tree of 150 millimeters. So waiting for some curing and then uh, varnish and wash. Then all the armament is in place. So the 280 millimeters and 150 millimeters. So uh, the, the only thing that is left in terms of armament is the final 20 millimeters. But those will be added after I have um, put on the railing on the outside. Rangefinder for the top of the fire control in the aft is uh, ready, so it will be assembled after the catapult is in place. And same goes with uh, the radar that goes on top of the bridge tower or tower bridge. Uh, I would recommend uh, painting the radar parts completely before assembling it and then doing a touch up. That's definitely a lot easier than painting it afterwards. So then the plane has gotten its uh, camouflage colors. So uh, now it needs to cure. Then it's time to uh, give it a uh, varnish before uh, I add the decals. And of course then uh, attaching the pontons uh, to uh, the to the uh, undercarriage. Uh, I think it's starting to look okay. I'm pretty happy about the colors. Uh, so I went for RLM uh, 81 and 82 since I think those suited uh, the scale a bit better than the 72 and 73 which is the correct ones historically at least. So moving on. And the cutters have gotten the white or off-white paint inside. The um, other bolts have been painted brown on top and also the keel in dark grey. So I think that this brown is uh, definitely a lot better. Some minor touch-ups uh, is required, but uh, otherwise I'm quite happy. So then it is to put these parts together. Also need to add some uh, colors to the seats and also the brass parts, which I have not uh, installed yet since I want to have them in the brass color as they should be. So moving on with that. Then the plane has uh, been finalized. Um, just need a, another layer of varnish before the sheen from the decals are okay. Otherwise, I'm quite happy with the plane. Same with the boats. They have gotten paint. The seats are painted. The brass parts are in place. And uh, I think it looks quite nice. Same with uh, the cutters, uh, the oars are in place and all the, the, the different uh, parts, seats and so on has gotten the correct paint. So things are starting to look good for, for this uh, part of the job. So now I um, need to attach the plane to the catapult uh, after the varnish of course and uh, then attaching the boats to the 
the cradles. So that will be the next and final step for this log. So then the different bolts are in place and also the plane. So um, the cutters, they are going on the davits on the side, which will be um, for the next log, I guess. So now it's time to add uh, the range finder on the um, fire control back here in the aft and then on top of the bridge tower so that then the radar is in place and that really concludes the build log for this time so uh, next time i will be looking at the cranes and uh, the davits and some of the aft details so I hope that you enjoyed and um, that you will join me next time. Keep safe and bye for now.